Camera Switches is a new Android accessibility feature that can help people with speech and motor impairments to navigate their phone using eye movements and facial gestures. It turns the phone's front-facing camera into a switch, so you can choose one movement to scan and another to select. The initial setup requires touching the screen and you'll need to make sure your phone is securely mounted with a clear view of your face. Images from the camera are processed on your device. Turn on camera switches by opening settings. Next, scroll down and tap accessibility. Scroll down again and under interaction controls, tap switch access. Turn it on and grant permissions. If you're using Switch Access already, the setup guide will be found back in Settings. Once there, tap Camera Switches, then choose one switch for a single gesture or two switches, one to navigate and one to select. You can then choose your scanning mode. We'll start with linear scanning to move through items one at a time. Here, you'll need to choose one gesture to scan and another to select. You can also choose a gesture to pause camera switches. To adjust anything, just come back to this setup whenever you like. The icon at the top of your screen will tell you whether camera switches is active, paused, or if it can't see your face. Let's look at how to use it to check the weather. To get started, just perform your chosen gesture to scan then the other gesture to open the weather app. These two simple movements will work the same anywhere on your phone, meaning you can look through photos, choose a video, or plan your day. Want to quickly jump to the home screen, see your notifications, or go back? You can do this with a global action. Just open your settings, Go back to Accessibility, then switch Access. Once there, tap Settings, then Assign Switches to Global Actions. You can customise the size, length and speed of your gestures in the camera switch settings by scrolling down and selecting the gesture you'd like to customise. From a bigger smile, to less hold time before it's recognised. Use the space at the top of your screen to play around until it fits your range of movement. At the bottom of the screen, you can edit the actions assigned to each gesture or remove them altogether. You can also add multiple gestures to the same action. Additional settings can help you customise the experience even further. Enhanced visual feedback and audio feedback let you know when a gesture is recognised. Keep screen on, avoid your screen locking during use, and ignore repeated gestures helps prevent accidental interactions. Camera switches also works with any physical switches you might have. Use a facial gesture to navigate, and your physical switch to select. To combine the two, head to Assign Switches in Switch Access Settings. For more information, visit g.co slash camera switches.